coal mining built the broad top region of south central Pennsylvania. Its rare mixture of both anthracite and bituminous coal reserves fueled mining companies from the late 1800s to the 1950s and populated the rugged and aptly named towns of Coaldale and Defiance. One of the unique things about the area though, there was also a lot of uh, family owned coal mines. Uh, people could seem to go right out their back door and start a coal mine. Late 70s, early 80s, a grassroots effort formed of local citizens who wanted to try to do something about the uh, effects of the coal mining on our area. Back then there wasn't a whole lot of environmental controls or anything and uh, so when the mines ran out the coal companies left and the uh, landscape was scarred. We have three streams in our township, Six Mile Run, Long's Run, and Sandy Run and that forms the watershed. In those three streams, uh, this group of people first set out and they identified 81 acid mine discharges. Eventually, they could go to the powers to be and say, look, here's our problem, and they could back it up with data. They approached the township, who uh, quite honestly opened up their arms and said, look, you know, whatever we can do to help. You know, we live here too, and we want to see this taken care of. The amazing thing about them is that as a municipal body, They've taken on the responsibility of treating mine discharges within their area. Our watershed group has partnered with the local municipality, the Broadtop Township Board of Supervisors. And all the systems that we've built, we've built 29 separate systems. Township employees and township equipment has built the systems. Whereas someone that doesn't do it that way is getting a grant and then the next thing they have to do is they have to go out and hire a contractor to construct the system. We've been able to keep local people employed, keep them productive, and add it to our tax base. So it's a win-win. When we're competing with somebody for grants, it puts us in a little better position because we simply can maximize any dollars that we get. And they've really become passionate about this. They said, hey, our, our municipality's residents said that they wanted to do something about this legacy. When I was a little kid, I used to play in these area streams. We called them the Sulphur Creek. And you had an old pair of sneakers and your old shorts. And when you were done, you looked like a pumpkin because you were covered in orange. Most of the people had worked in the mines. They were retired coal miners. Most of the villages are there because there was a mine there. And they thought, well, this is just how it is. You know, this is what happens when you mine. Since then, we've been able to build 29 treatment systems, and we've been able to remediate 40 of these sites. Now we have 41 more to go, but we've really impacted the streams here. And they've even branched out into trail development. So the highway crew that's paving in August is building trails in, in October. Once we were able to show people that it doesn't have to be this way, that it can be uh, changed, uh, it's a snowball effect. You get a sense of ownership. If you're building it, you're gonna take a lot more pride in it because you know you're the one that's gonna have to come back and maintain it. You see less litter along the banks. You see less trash in the streams. Uh, you have local residents now who are actively stalking fish in the streams and watching them make sure that they live. We have college students come here annually uh, check out our systems. The local high school, they're doing some analysis for bugs to make sure that the bugs are coming back into the streams. I've lived in this area my whole life. I don't intend to go anywhere else, and I never have. I've inherited this from a lot of people before me, uh, but it just goes to show you that what a small group of people who stick with something can get something done. I would like to thank all those people that have started this. And hopefully that my little part in this will help it continue on after I'm gone.